that Rudolph's a bastard. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. Well, there was no need to do that to Cupid, was there? So, okay, we all know that is Mitch Bell, Ball Bell, short of a Christmas tree. But there's no need to give a nickname such as Stunt, was there? That's not right at all. Mind you, he's snow so naive and won't understand anyway. <laughs> Who does he think he is? He wasn't even one of the original eight reindeer. Oh, no. Yeah, exactly. He wasn't one of the original eight. <laughs> Little me being one of them. We're all part of the 1823 poem, A Visit from St Nicholas. Oh, sorry. Uh, you might know it as um, The Night Before Christmas, yeah? Bless you, you all look so confused. Uh, anyway. Oh, yes. The eight original reindeer. More than eagles his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, <laughs> and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder, on Blitzen. Yeah, did you hear that? No, you didn't. Rudolph was not in that at all. So, <laughs> Rudolph, you go, fuck, can't you? <laughs> Honestly. No mention of the big arse at all. He didn't come along until 1939, when Robert May decided to tell his story. No less than a song and a book, and he was in straight away. Lasted 100 years without him. Honestly, I think, I, t I tell you the story again, it was apparently one Christmas Eve it was really foggy. And the plump guy didn't think that we were to fly in for him. And then just by chance he bumps into Rudolph and sees his big flashing red conk. Well, Rudolph, I've got something to tell you. It's the 21st century now. We've got fog lights. It's going flashing off, hey? <laughs> anyway, I'm surprised there's no star that could after all that sucking up to fatty anyway. Mind you, it's him I blame, really. When what to my wondering eyes should appear? A miniature sleigh, eight tiny reindeer, with, old, with a little old driver, so lively and quick. I knew in a moment, it must be St Dick. <laughs> oh, sorry, St Nick, I, I didn't mean me. Anyway, to be fair, it's probably not completely satisfied anyway. Have you seen Mrs Claus? Her beard's longer than his, honestly. <laughs> a couple of months ago, I asked if she wanted a sponsorship. I thought she was doing Movember. <laughs> she managed to shave other areas fine, but it causes havoc with Santa's beard. Where do you think the idea of Velcro came from? <laughs> and they've got no kids. Mind you, to be fair to her, that's mainly because she has what I like to call woman problems. Yeah, woman problems. She's got a few issues down, down there, down there. Let's just say she's got a few logs short of a fire. No amount of mistletoe will sort that one out. <laughs> so you see, it's no wonder Santa only comes once a year. Oh, oh, am I writing? Stop it. Hello? <laughs> yes? No. No. No, that's in four months. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you are. Anyway, you're boring me now. I've got guests, and I've got some games coming up. Okay. Um, Easter Bunny thinks it's Easter already. <laughs> Wonder why it's Christmas this early. <laughs> Have I not told you about the reindeer games? Oh, love it, you know. Bit of a tradition of ours. We do it every year. There's elf tossing. <laughs> no, not that. I'm just throw over them. Uh, the annual turn frosty yellow from 50 paces, which is my favourite, and uh, pin the tail on Santa's big fat abusing ass, which is a good one. And then obviously there's Rudolph's favourite, attach the mistletoe to Santa's bottom. Mm. Talking about Santa, did you know that his suit used to be green? Green? Honestly, apparently it was Coca-Cola that changed it to red. Thank God. Can you imagine waking up? With, um, actually, I'm glad that a different company did it, because Imagine kids waking up on Christmas Day to Santa dressed as Ronald McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> Awful. Anyway, I'd better go and, um, by the way, it's compulsory for me to say, but Merry Christmas. <laughs>